it's time for another range test in the ID3. As always, we're in the 58 kilowatt Pro Live Performance model, and it's in Paul McKenna Turquoise. I made the pull part up, it's just McKenna Turquoise. The WLTP range on this car is 263 miles. And that's, <laughs> that's if you can get 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Today, we're going to do 190 miles. We're going from Stamford in South Lincolnshire all the way west to Cardiff in Wales. It's 190 miles door to door and it's about eight degrees at the moment. I'd have no problems with this car doing that in one go. But how will it cope with five famine resistant men on board and all their luggage? You can see that the car is charged to 100% there and it's given us an indicated range of 201 miles. Let's get the boys on board. On three, do that. On three. Okay, then I'll magic you in. I've seen, I've seen this on TikTok. Two, three. <laughs> you, can't, you can't swear. <laughs> All right, ready, one yeah, more. that affects the Andy channel. One, one, two, three. And here we are, we're all in. And I know what you're thinking. Have the A-team reformed and got a lot better looking? <laughs> and we wouldn't blame you for thinking that. But more importantly for this video, we're 400 kilos of man and luggage. Let's see what it does to the range. So we've stopped early. Let's have a look why. We're in Eversham, um, and I can show you here how well the car's doing. It dropped down to 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour, an average speed of 51 miles per hour there. It's about eight, it's about 10 degrees. So there was absolutely no way we were going to get to where we wanted to go. We've got 108 miles of range left, so we're going to put it on charge. We're going to here. try an intervolt chargers that I absolutely love. Let's see if it works. So on here, you can see that this is tap and go, which makes me very happy. So I'm going to tap my card on there. It's beeped, authenticated. That was really easy, and we're in. We're good to go. But the machine's just made a right thunk. That means it's starting. We can look at the screen and see how it's doing. So the unit price is 40 pence per kilowatt hour. We're getting 42.3 kilowatt hours from this machine, even though this is a 120 machine and the car will take 120, but we are at a 50% state of charge, which probably explains that. Quick coffee and a mince pie and we're away. We're back, 75% charge, 161 miles of range, we're good to go. So we've arrived 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. That was actually quite impressive. And we've got 74 miles of range left. <laughs> it's the next morning, everyone's a bit tired. We're down to 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. I'm tired, you're right. <laughs> 49 miles of range. And we're stopping in Newport for a charge. Let's try BP Pulse. This is another tap and go machine. I'm gonna open take the charger let's see how this goes it's a tap and go I've parked a little bit too far away from the charger <laughs> and let's see what happens this because the Sun's on the screen I can't actually read it so we'll see if it's charging it's nothing there, it's just black. right we're on hang on yeah so we're on so I just had to select the charger you can hear it firing up yeah. and we're good to go. So we can just see here that it's charging away. Uh, the CCS here is 175 kilowatts. We're saying the car's at 23, 24% and um, everything's good. Inside the car, I can see that we're charging at 183 miles an hour, which uh, seems okay. Just a quick splash and dash here. We need 121 miles to get to our next stop, so I'm, I'm going to fill this to 130, so we'll be here no more than 10 minutes, and then the next stop is an Instavolt in Coventry. See you there. We're at 52%, the car's charging at 166 miles an hour, which is pretty good going. Uh, we've got 108 miles of range, so as soon as that hits 130, we're off. Well, there's been a slight development, a and... <laughs> I left us with a 20 mile window for this next stop. However, my predicted range was based off the last 30 miles, I guess, which was all done in a traffic jam. So um, that was completely inaccurate. And if you look here, we've got 42 miles to our next stop. The car's predicting 
we've got 42 miles of range left. We did stop briefly at a grid service, a grid serve stop. However, there was a queue for that one. So um, I'm guessing this will either go one of two, right, two, one of two ways. I've slowed down, I've put the car in eco, and um, we'll get there or we won't get there. So we made it and this was close and I'll show you in a second. But how disappointing that I added, I, I left 20 miles extra range and I understand why it got used up because the previous 30 miles or so had been at very slow speeds. But if you're a brand new EV driver, I've driven 40,000 miles in EVs and I still got caught out by this. At one point it was at parity, then it dipped below. We had to slow down to uh, below 60 miles an hour for about 10 miles. And this is what we've arrived with. But here we are at the, oh, the light is in the sun again, but you can see there 1% and one mile of range left. A little bit hairy, but we're here. So another Instavolt, we're at the Cooley services. This is a 50 kilowatt charger. Uh, as always, and I haven't even started this yet, Instavolt rock solid. Let's have a go. So it's just authorizing the card. It's done, it says plug in. <laughs> so here we are, we're charging. We were really low when we arrived. <laughs> you can see there, 1% battery. It's ramping up, whoops. It's ramping up. We're getting 48, we should top out at nearly 50 kilowatts there about. But one, oh. sorry, I keep touching the screen. But 1% battery. It's not great to be that close. We won't be here that long because the car won't be charging to 100%, probably about half an hour. So we're back home safely. Now from our last stop, I put in an extra 30 miles of range because we lost the 25 mile buffer we had on the first part of the journey. But because the last part of the journey, the range was reflected on the previous part of the journey where we are doing higher speeds, it was really accurate. So we had 30 mile buffer, and we've, I've arrived back with 20 miles of range left. So I think it's important to remember that your range is based on your most recent driving. So if you're driving around town and then are planning to do a motorway journey, it's a consideration. What has happened, which is a little bit more worrying, um, and I don't know why, is this, let me show you. Putting onto the drive, I've had this message, electric drive not working correctly, please visit workshop. And you can see there's a picture of the um, electric motor there. I've also got a couple of, uh, a couple of visual images there. I'm not entirely sure what's going on really. Because as you can see, this car has only done 1,485 miles, so you wouldn't expect a problem. Looking at the data for the driving, we can see that we've averaged 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour, which although is nowhere near the 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour that the WLTP claim, it's winter, it's about seven degrees now. We were five up, so that extra 400 kilos must make a difference. So I think averaging 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour with 400 kilos of weight in the car is actually pretty good. And on my own, I've been getting about 3.5 to 3.7 maybe. So the car handled well, it drove well, we had a scare with the range, but all in all, uh, this is a good car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you found this video useful, and if you have, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, see you soon.